Pilots, did you know that there are companies hiring candidates right now and they're paying them $100,000 on the first day? Find out everything you need to know about this right here on Commercial Pilot in Command. All right, welcome to another episode. This episode is called Insane Hiring Bonuses for Pilots. If you're listening on the podcast, I just want to welcome you in and thank you for coming back. Happy weekend to you guys, pilots and aviation enthusiasts. Welcome to the Commercial PIC Show. This podcast is brought to you by Commercial Pilot in Command, and this is a channel that provides you aviation expertise from 250 to 1,500 hours. Take command of your pilot career at commercialpic.com. As always, I'm Seth. I'll be your host today. You're listening and watching a aviation podcast and a show where I share with you some of the knowledge and expertise that I've built as a commercial pilot and helping you build your expertise up to 1,500 hours. As a restricted ATP commercial pilot in general aviation, I started my aviation journey in 2005 and I've been working my butt off in aviation ever since. I want to encourage you with this video to do the exact same thing and I am ready to give you this information. It is absolutely going to blow your mind if you don't already know about it. Hey, maybe you're a pilot that's had a few jobs. Maybe you've worked for pennies. We all have, right? You want to get serious about building your career? I'll give you a reason why to get serious about your career in this episode. Hey, I've been through all of this before and I know the struggles you're going through. So stick around and I've got some great stuff to tell you. Real quick, I've got a book that I want to recommend to you for advancing your aviation knowledge. I'll get to that later in the episode. I want to shout out some of our listeners and our watchers. Uh, the first person that I want to shout out is Ova Load, OVA Load. And she said, hey, a pilot's life for me. I don't care that I'm a woman. I'm going to and fly. That's right. You go get them because that is awesome. Second subscriber who left an awesome comment was Max C. He said, if you want the best pilot training in the world and a guaranteed pilot job when you get out, join the Air Force or the Navy. That's right. I agree with that, sir. Also, stick around to the end of this episode where I have a pro pilot tip for you that you're not going to want to miss. Keep in mind, too, you can listen to this anytime you want on Apple, iHeartRadio, and on Amazon, as well as Spotify. If you're listening on the podcast, I just want to thank you. If you're watching, please remember to subscribe. Click that bell notification so you will get notified when I post new videos and new podcasts on the weekend. All right, let's get into it. Yes, $100,000. Yes, that is accurate. Right now, there are airlines, regional airlines, that are hiring and they are offering a $100,000 bonus, depending on your hours, which I'm going to get into, for new participants, for new candidates. Okay. Now, keep in mind, I'm not sponsored by these airlines at all. These are participating airlines, and I'm going to mention them in case you haven't already gotten this information. So right now there are three regional airlines that are providing services for American Airlines and um, it's on a contract basis. Okay. So the way that works is they hire these pilots in regional, they build hours, they get to their times uh, that are required and then they move over to the main carrier. What they're doing is they are issuing a hundred thousand dollar bonus day one. Like you sign on, you sign your contract, boom, 100 grand hits your bank account. This is real. This is absolutely real. They have updated their rates and is unbelievable. So the three participating airlines, Envoy, uh, Envoy Air, Piedmont Airlines, and PSA Airlines, they're all offering this bonus for experienced first officers from other regionals who are at the point of being eligible to upgrade to captain. These officers are extended from you know, kind of the end of this year. Who knows? They might extend it even further. And this bonus is an attempt to help bridge the gap between the number of first officers and captains at the regional airlines. So they also have a $75,000 sign-on bonus to first officers who are close to upgrading to captain. Here's the numbers. Now, you need 950 or more hours of part 121 flying for a commercial airline. OK, so if you're ready to upgrade and become a captain, you would be eligible for that. They also offer first officers with 500. This is the part I want you to listen to 500 to 950 part 121 hours as 
a uh, first officer $75,000 bonus. Okay, that's not completely out of reach. And I'll get into more about that in a little bit. The $100,000 bonus also extends to part 135 pilots. The industry leading pay is starting at $146 an hour for captains and $90 an hour for first officers with $250 a month hotel reimbursement for registered and eligible commuters. This has never happened before, right? We've always had really, really low pay in the airlines and now they're bumping it up because they're really, really trying to get people on. Captain pay starts at 750 hours. They have an accelerated training course for qualified CRJ captains, okay? Also, there's like five communable bases that you can pick from. There's travel privileges on American Airlines Network. And these bonuses, they're like I said, they're an attempt to lure talent from other airlines. And so, you know, hey, well, if they're going to pay, why wouldn't you go to those, okay? So keep in mind that... Uh, other regional airlines are coming up with these kind of strategies. So don't sell yourself short. You got to work hard and you got to get there. And what I want to say to you is, is, yes, not everybody is at these hours. Not everybody has these 121 hours, but it is a goal to look forward to. It is something to get up in the morning and look at it and say, I am absolutely going to accomplish this. And you just keep grinding and you keep grinding and you keep grinding until you get to that spot because the reward on the end is going to be a hundred percent worth it by the time you get there the pay may be even better okay seriously hey have you ever seen this t-shirt before i got this t-shirt a long time ago and it is absolutely one of my favorite t-shirts if you want to get a shirt just like this one that i custom designed for pilots go to commercialpic.com slash shop dash merch go to the website click on shop merch you can find this t-shirt right here if you decide to buy a t-shirt i just want you to know that that supports this channel it supports making the podcast and it supports all the work that i put on social media to give you guys the best possible information i can for building your careers so thank you for contributing and supporting this channel all right i got a book i want to recommend to you guys it is called the great air race by john lancaster the traditional air race of October 1919 that saw scores of pilots compete for the fastest round trip time between New York and San Francisco was in a frail open cockpit biplane. It's an incredible untold story of the men who risked their lives in the first transcontinental air contest and put American aviation on the map. This book is available in audio version and I 100% recommend listening to it if you want to get a free copy. And I mean it. You get a free copy of it. I have a link in the description below for audible.com. You go on there. You sign up for a free trial. 30 days. Click on it. You keep the book. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. I promise you 100%. It will not cost you a dime to get a free audiobook. So go check that out. And that supports the channel as well. Okay. Going to get into my pro pilot tip for you guys. But I want you to know that I really care about your guys' career. I know that it's tough, and I want you to enjoy the time that you spend in general aviation. Enjoy the journey, okay? Really, really enjoy the journey and build a relationship with the airplane that you're flying. Just remember that building hours is far more valuable than the destination. You will get there, but don't miss out on the time that you're building now because it's going to benefit you when you do get there. All right, here's my pro pilot tip. If you guys are still with me, I appreciate it very, very much. I'm going to make it worth your time. This is a tip you do not want to miss. So my tip for you is you need to build lots of turbine time, lots of it, not so much prop time. Prop time is good, but you have to upgrade. You have to get out of the propeller situation. You have to get into an airplane that's got some kind of turbine. It could be a turboprop. That will help you build time. And here's why you want to build turbine time. This is crucial. Airlines almost always require pilots to have a certain amount of turbine time on their applications. Turbine time refers to the number of hours a pilot has spent flying an aircraft with a turbine engine, such as jet or turboprop engines. I have turboprop time, and it's been valuable for me. This is because flying these types of aircraft requires specific skills, and it's an experience that's way different than flying piston engine aircraft. 
Airlines value turbine time because it demonstrates a pilot's ability to handle more complex aircraft systems. It allows them the ability to work in high pressure environments and it manages the challenges of flying at higher altitudes and speeds. Both are very, very important. By requiring turbine time on the applications, airlines can ensure that the pilots have the necessary experience to safely and efficiently operate their fleet. That's why it's so important, okay? Now remember, turboprop time counts, but it's not as valuable. I absolutely encourage you to learn as much as you can about turbine engine components and everything that goes into them. Some of these things that you should know is jet A fuel injection, hydromechanics, FADEC. FADEC's really, really cool. You should check that out. It's about setting a particular setting, and that's it. It does the rest. It's like autopilot for the engine. It's really cool stuff. Compressors, combustion chambers, the APU, lubrication and cooling systems, ignition systems, and how all of them work together and how they all rely on each other. And then what happens when one fails? What happens when a component goes down? Just like with piston aircraft, but on another level. I really, really do care about what you guys are doing out there as pilots, and I want to stay engaged with you. If you enjoy this podcast or you enjoy this show, please take a moment to rate it, share it, and subscribe, and comment when you can. I will interact with you. I'll uh, reply to your comments. I'll give you a thumbs up. I'll let you know that I read it. Just remember that we're a community, and by engaging with this podcast, it's going to help other pilots just like you discover this content and benefit from it in the same way. Remember to enjoy the journey and fly that airplane to the finish every single time.